Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty as we continue season four now into conference play. In non conference play, we absolutely dominated. We even won a preseason tournament, and now we've made waves across the NCAA. As we head into conference play, well, we're gonna look at recruiting really quick. Now, I did not have a recruiting special this season and mainly it was because we don't have a ton of scholarships and a ton of holes. So a lot of these guys we're going after might just be, you know, reserves. So this season, we're gonna actually go after some four-star guys. We are a four-star, this is our fourth year, so we're gonna go after four stars. Our fifth year, we'll go after five stars. That's how it will kind of be. So next season, every recruit will be unlocked. Now, I wanted to go after a four star this year, Ed Hutchins. He's a center, six foot nine. We already should be planning for the future. He is a pretty good player right now, but we'll have to see. We started at very low interest in him, and now we're at medium. But he's going to be the only guy we truly go after here because, like I said, what I want to do is kind of commit to going after the best players right now and I love our team we don't need to replace anybody except Zion Storm he's going into his senior year obviously and a couple of other original walk-ons but besides that I don't think we have too many holes on our team so we hop into conference play starting out against University of San Diego this is a team that actually was a pretty big rival in the first year in this conference but you can just see now the talent gap is just too big we absolutely dominate them by 43 85 to 42 look at the rebounds 59 to 23 how about Monsetti? he goes for 39 and look at uh, douglas taylor and william caesar 18 and 20 rebounds respectively i mean that is just insane production out of our big man i think that that's a huge difference this season Next, we go up against Pepperdine, and we face them twice a year. We face every conference team twice a year, so you won't see me play them in every single episode. But I just want to check out our old pal, Dal Dalton Jett. And Dalton Jett hasn't got off the bench. I mean, I'm not sure why he transferred over to Pepperdine of all schools. He's definitely not even going to play at all. He's just going to ride the bench. He definitely had a better chance of playing here with LBSU and sticking with us. So we go up against Pepperdine, and look at this. We are beating them by 20 plus points. We end up winning by 17, but oh my goodness. I mean, just look at the turnaround of this series. We couldn't even compete with Pepperdine in the NCAA game cast. Now we're defeating them. We start out the conference two and oh, actually three and oh. So now we're 17 and two. We did win a couple of games and now here we are going up against Gonzaga, the team we lost to in the conference championship last year in a team that we have pretty much failed to beat so far consistently here in this series and they have pretty much the same starters returning so this will be interesting the only uh difference in their starting lineup is vic myers is now the starting point guard so we will have our work cut out here in this matchup and we are on the road i want to play this road game they are top 25 right now number 22 in the nation and this is just going to be a good one i cannot wait especially after the game uh, you know that we just had in the run that we just went on with the win streak and everything I mean, this is just gonna be an interesting matchup. They're 14 and 3 overall 2 and 0 in conference and we already know Gonzaga is one of the Best mid-major teams in the land and I think we can make waves here in the NCAA tournament RPI with a win here So let's get this matchup underway on the road versus number 22 Gonzaga. They do win the tip and let's see what they do on the opening possession. So here they are working around the perimeter. This time it's deflected and picked up in a jump shot fade away by Kamu Franks, who is their highlighted player going into this matchup. And now it's 2-0 here for Gonzaga. Begin the pick and roll. Pass out to the perimeter. This time it's Tony Monsetti, who's open for the three. He gets us going on offense. It's now a 3-2 game. Here we are working it inside of Monsetti. He's ripped away as Gonzaga playing good defense already to start this game. Here's a jump shot. And that is just the hardest jump shot to start stop in this game. It's one of those plays that's always run and it always works. So working it inside. This time it's Macklin who can't come up with this one. And now here they are running in transition. A great outlet pass up the court to Franks again. He gets another bucket. And now it's a 6-3 game. It's a rebound this time by Macklin. Pushing up the court is Monsetti. 
He's going to be at the three-point line. He's just going to shoot it, and he knocks it down. He's got six early points, two three-pointers already, and now it's a six-up game. Good defense that time by Monsetti. This time, Macklin pushes it up the court. Looking to set up a play. He works to the corner again. It's Monsetti for his third triple. And he nails it. Three for three to start this game from deep for Monsetti. And it's now a nine to six game. So here is deflection this time. Running in transition. Storm in traffic and almost gets the end one. It's a foul on Vic Myers. As he goes to the free throw line, he will knock down the first shot. As let's see what he does on the second one. And it's going to be off. So it's an early 10 to six lead for LBSU. So jump shot blocked this time by Douglas Taylor. Rebounded and thrown up the court. Monsetti gets the deflection. Steps back a little bit. He's just going to take another one. Heat check. It's good. Four for four from three here to start this game for Monsetti. He's got pretty much all the points so far. And he's got 12 of the 13. It's now a nice lead here to start this game. Now after a timeout, this is Monsetti pushing up the court. He gets fouled on that one, but they don't call it, and he gets it to go. 14 points for Monsetti. He's on a tear to start this game. So more defense being played by LBSU, pushing up the court, 15-6. Here's Monsetti open again. He's going to take it in oh, and a little bit of a heat check that time, and it's off the mark. And now in a 15-6 game, more defense. Gonzaga is being really sloppy with the ball. Monsetti all the way, coast to coast. It's an 11-point lead to start this game. So now we get it up to 13, 19 to six. Gonzaga off the mark again. Here we are pushing it in transition. And Storm, he's just gonna pull up from deep and it's good. Monsetti and Storm have scored all the points so far. It's 22 to six. So here's Gonzaga on offense and they finally stopped the run, getting that jump shot. And now it's a 22 to eight game. We give it to Monsetti one on one. He gets ripped though, he gets the ball right back. He dribbles it right back up the court. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Looking for a pick from William Caesar. He's going to step back a little bit. He's just going to chuck this one up, and it's good. How about Monsetti to start this game? He is just hitting everything. That's from the logo. You have got to be kidding me. Monsetti has now reached stardom, I think. This could be his coming out party. Here is another three. Knocked down Monsetti again. 28 to 10. It's almost a 20 point lead here. We're not even done with the first half. But here is Kamu Franks that time hitting the mid range jump shot. He has six points. He's the only one going on offense for Gonzaga. But here's Monsetti all the way up the court and another one. He's just jacking him up at this point. 31 to 12 here for LBSU as Gonzaga tries to get some buckets, but twos aren't going to compete with threes. There we are now up 31 to 14. Storm pushes it up the court, just weaving his way all the way to the basket. And a floater, he gets it with contact. He's got six points. So four minutes left here in the first half. Here's William Caesar in the post, passing it back out to Monsetti. Why not? Letting it fly, Monsetti. Eight of ten from three-point land. He's got 28 points in the first half. This is the greatest performance so far here in this series. We've seen 28, another steal. Macklin pushes it up. Taylor out to the corner. Why not? One more. Nine three-pointers. 39 to 18. Monsetti is just on fire here. And here he is one more time. Is he going to take that one? No, he does not. And here he takes it from the top. He's got a big man on him, trying to create a little bit of space. He passes it to the corner, and it's Storm. It's like you can't double-team Monsetti right now because Storm's just going to hit it. He's three for three as well. So now it's a... What is it, a 16-point game? And now here they are starting to come back. Gonzaga, you can't count them out. Another pass inside, another jump shot, and it's good. That one time it's Devin Dixon, I believe. He knocks it down. And now it's a 12-point lead here, 21 seconds left. We give Monsetti a break. Here is Workman in the game. He's going to pull up, and he misses that one off of the back rim, rebounded by Gonzaga. Here they are pushing up the court, but good defense by Michael Workman all the way up the court, making it tough. And here they are with six seconds left, looking for a shot. This is going to be uh, a little bit of a buzzer beater. Let's see. I don't know what he was doing. And he just chucks it up. 42 to 30 going into halftime. What a half by Monsetti. 28 points for him. Nine three-pointers knocked down in the first half. What a game. 42 to 30. So here we are to start the second half. 
Let's see if Monsetti can go for 50 in this game. Here he is working it inside the lane this time, a fadeaway jump shot. He's got 30 so far. Let's see if he can keep this hot streak going, but this time it's Macklin getting going in the corner. It's now a 13-point game. Gonzaga is still keeping it close. Another three-pointer this time. Monsetti, he can't knock it down for his 10th three-pointer of the game. And now Gonzaga has possession, but a fadeaway jump shot rebounded by Monsetti. He's pushing up the court. Let's see what he does. He's driving the lane, and he gets some contact, and that is going to be off the side of the backboard. But now here we are in a 47-36 game. And now we're starting to miss some shots. Monsetti missed a couple of easy ones. And now Macklin misses some open threes. And now it's an 11-point game. Here's Gonzaga coming back. Missed shot and rebounded. That is Devin Dixon, the sophomore. And now it is down to a single-digit lead. Here's Gonzaga, though. Missed three-pointer. Rebound. And put up Pierre Trick on that one. And now it is 49-42, a seven-point game with nine minutes to go. Gonzaga now starting to work their way back. It's now a five-point game. So nine minutes left this time. Storm getting a pick, and finally an easy bucket. We needed one of those. It's now back up to a seven-point game. Monsetti working it around the perimeter. Back to Storm. Back to Monsetti. Back inside to Cooper, and it's a dunk. They're trying to double-team Monsetti. They do not want him to shoot any more threes. And when that happens, we just pass it inside to Cooper, whoever's inside. So here's Monsetti once again on the outside. He fakes a three-pointer. Back out to Storm. Who knocks it down? 56 to 44. So many three-pointers here in this game for LBSU. This is a team high, a series high. Three-pointers knocked down. Rebounded this time by Storm, pushing up the court. Monsetti, is this going to be number 10? And it is. 10 three-pointers for Monsetti in this one. And now it is back up to a 13-point game. Do Douglas Taylor working it around. And that is going to be a dunk by William Caesar. And now Gonzaga stays in this game. But now it's a 12-point lead. Let's see if we can finally close it out. Here is Storm on the inside. He gets a nice pass from Caesar. And it's now up to a 14-point game. But Gonzaga is not going anywhere. Here is Monsetti this time getting to the bucket. And going to be fouled on that one. And he's got 38 points in this game. The first free throw is going to be good. Can he make it 40 with this second one? And it is off the left rim. And Gonzaga does rebound it. There's still a minute and a half to go. So here they are, Trake with the three-point shot, and he's going to knock it down. How valuable is it that they have a big man who can shoot threes as well? And it does trim it down to an eight-point lead. And then they start to foul here. So Monsetti goes to the line. Can he get point number 40? And it's off the front rim again and rebounded by Trake. And now 66-58, and Zaga has possession. Here's Jitsu in the lane. He gets it to go. It's now down to a six-point game. Now it's just a two-possession lead pretty much, and Jitsu does foul Monsetti in the corner. And with 39 points, can he get to 40? The first free throw is off again. Monsetti in the second half has just went cold. And now it is a six-point lead. Gonzaga has possession. And now here they are, fadeaway three, off the mark, rebounded by Monsetti. They're going to follow him again. Can he finally hit a free throw to possibly ice this game? He's just been stuck at 39. The first free throw, the one and one, finally good. The second, good as well. He's up to 41 points in this game. And now there's just about 20 seconds left. Another three-point shot by Gonzaga, knocked down. Kamu Franks again, and it's now a five-point game as we re inbound the ball. And another foul, Monsetti goes to the line, 41 points. The first of two is good. Now up to two, 42, and now 43 points in this game. A seven-point lead here, 10 seconds to go. Jitsu in the corner, knocks down another one. It's now a four-point game, and now here is Storm this time. He's getting fouled, and that is Myers. And Storm almost has 20 as well. His first free throw is good. He's four of five from the line this game. The second, good as well. We probably should have put him on the line instead of Monsetti, but I think we were kind of point chasing there. And now with five seconds left, they're going to jack one more up, and it's good. Gonzaga will just not go away. It's now a three-point game, 2.4 seconds left. And Monsetti, they're not going to foul him. He's just going to run out this clock. And that is going to do it. 
How about that first half by Monsetti? He had nine threes, 10 in the game, and that one does it here. The greatest performance in LBSU history for sure by Monsetti, hitting nine threes in the first half, 10 total, and we hold on to barely win that game. And how about this? In one episode, we beat Pepperdine and Gonzaga. We are the new kings now of the West Coast Conference. And it seems like now this team is at an all-time high. And this game was just a testament of that. Monsetti just went off. He could not miss. And for them, Jitsu at 24. Myers had 15. Franks had 11. But what a victory. Is now we just look at the top 25. Are we there yet? That was the top 25. That was the top 25 team we just beat. And we're nowhere to be found. I mean, this is kind of disappointing to be honest. I thought we would reach top 25 status with an 18-2 record. And we're on a seven-game win streak as well. We've had two big win streaks. One of 11, one of seven. So this is interesting, man. I, I just think we should be ranked in the top 25. Gonzaga's still there right now at 22, but I'm sure that rating hasn't kicked in yet. That loss hasn't. So we'll have to see when we come back next episode if we will be ranked. So we will finish conference play the next episode as well. I think we want to run through that. We're 18 and two. We might as well and get to the conference tournament because I can't see anybody beating us here. Maybe Gonzaga and Pepperdine. The Gonzaga game was really close. Pepperdine is also still good, but I don't see anybody else in our conference messing with us this year. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Monsetti goes off of 43, 30 plus points in the first half. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Wave. I'm in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace, beat foot with the bare face and a slick tie, that's what she say, she look good, she a big tease when she bite lip with the wink face, hella bad when she throwing it back, she bring out my way for the team play, for Pete's sake, I'm above average, I'm padding my stack, I got a matter what he say.